Okay, so I'm heading down to Pacific Grove today. I'm going to do some painting and visit with family, and I'll be there for a couple days. So, uh, but I wanted to leave by 12 noon. Looking good. Okay, so I made really good time coming down here, and I didn't really organize. I didn't plan that well. I just kind of threw a bunch of stuff. Got some spinach, mushrooms, dates for my oatmeal, oatmeal for my oatmeal, some molasses for my oatmeal, walnuts for my salad, pecans for my oatmeal, chickpeas for my salad, almonds for snacking, quinoa for lunch, garlic, bananas, vegan bananas, apples, and three avocados that are actually perfectly ripe. Looking forward to eating those. So, I'm gonna have to check and see what I'm missing, but there's a Trader Joe's nearby, so I'll just pick up whatever I need. I just wanted to get out the door, so I just threw everything in a bag. There's some original artwork in my cottage here, so let's take a look. Oh, we've got a seascape over here, and another seascape over here. Looks like some palette knife action on this one. There's another seascape. Okay, and then there's a couple old paintings here. This one's very unusual, like a mom and her two daughters walking through a field and an old boat painting. This uh, Monterey Peninsula is really different from other areas of California that I've been to. Um, there's like lots of sand dunes and stuff, so it kind of reminds me of the East Coast in a way. So there was some fog earlier, but uh, it seems to have cleared up obviously. Um, so after heading into town, get some coffee or whatever, I'll probably come back to this area and do some painting. That's uh, Carmel out there and uh, Pebble Beach Golf Course and all that stuff. This is uh, Silomar, which is a really beautiful beach. It's kind of surprising to me how much different the ocean is here than Pescadero. Pescadero is probably maybe an hour and a half north of here, but it looks totally different. So there's a couple coffee places in town here, and I can't remember which one I like better. So I'm gonna go to Bookworks first. So I'm sitting outside since it was really crowded indoors. So I was sitting there enjoying my coffee, which is very good actually. Uh, I would definitely recommend. Um, anyway. So I was looking through uh, my phone and I saw your comments, a lot of nice comments on uh, yesterday's video, which I appreciate. But it's strange because today I got, I got a lot of hate today too, which I don't usually get hate comments, but um, which is funny. Like one person was like, too much chit chat. And somebody else was like accusing me of being the most boring person ever. <laughs> And I never claim to be, I never claim to be anything but just what I am. And if you don't like it, you know, you can always go somewhere else. It's just a normal part of the process. So it just makes me laugh actually. All right guys, so uh, let's go paint. So I just pulled over at a random spot and I figure I'll do a small panel since it's kind of late in the day, maybe a nine by 12. Uh, I'm just gonna look around, find a composition and get started. I just kind of sketched things in really quickly and I didn't film it, but now I've only got like five minutes left uh, and I got to meet family for dinner. So I'll show you what I got and then I'll try to film the rest of it. The colors of the water are definitely different here. So I'm going to keep going. I noticed the color of the water is different here. There's a lot more purples and then a sort of viridian kind of green that's hard to describe. But uh, anyway, so I had fun out here warming up. I uh, got to head off to dinner. So I had to wrap things up pretty quickly because uh, dinner time was fast approaching. And so I finished up the painting really quickly and let me show you what I came up with. Okay, so this is a nine by 12 and the color of the water here is a lot different. There's, I don't know if you can see it, but I tried to get some purples in there. Okay, so I'm out here walking off my dinner, which was way too big. Two enchiladas, rice and beans, good, but very filling. 
So anyway, I'm heading to Asilomar Center and they've got a lodge there and I'm gonna go hang out and edit this video. And uh, I'll show you guys though first what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It was designed by Julia Morgan, who was a famous architect who did like sort of arts and crafts style architecture. Hey, so I popped out so I could say goodbye to you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go back and sit by the fire. But uh, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out as usual, and I will see you in the next video.